All right. Hey. I I can't <laughs> I can't say how much I appreciate that. <laughs> so um, thanks a lot. Uh, it seems that we made it kind of alive to the end of the third session, third days of session, and um, I am extremely happy. We are all extremely happy um, for seeing this as a. Uh, one of probably the biggest events we've ever made in, in Italy and um, it was just amazing and we're so happy to have you here and um, I really have no words to thank you for this, really. We have... <laughs> we have a few t-shirts to give away. So, before I show you the next slide, I'm going to ask, how many tickets do you think we sold? So, do you want a t-shirt or not? Nope. You're boring. Just get these t-shirts. So, <laughs> awesome. So, I'm extremely glad to say that we sold 373 tickets. We've had the pleasure to host 107 sprinters, at least registered on the Excel file, which is pretty good. And we almost sold out the tickets to the museum. We have two tickets left. Okay, so wait a second, I'll have to update this. <laughs> um, I'm also happy to report that we had four, 40 football fans that had the possibility to watch Sweden Belgium. Yeah! And um, there have been a little hiccups, but they told me they worked out in the end, so um, I'm really glad you had that opportunity. James want a t-shirt. No, <laughs> Tassilo, sorry. <laughs> and um, we almost, we, we kind of risked to kill our speakers at the speaker's dinner. Um, they had a little bit too much food. Maybe somebody's still alive to tell you that. And. Um, we did also organize the classic Tour of Drupal yesterday with eight people participating. And um, we also had, that's an optimistic estimate, about zero hours of sleep. <laughs> well, I think you could tell that. We had some sprints and uh, the rooms were pretty full. So. Um, Here's a little report on you know, the issues that have been worked on at least one, up to one hour ago. So we had 80 needs to re for review, 46 the needs working, 73, 73 active and 11 reviewed and tested. So I think those are pretty good numbers. So thanks a lot for helping. Come again? Um, I might have forgot to put that. <laughs> Sorry? Awesome. Can you stand up, please? UX, the UX, oh, there. Ah, well, that was close. <laughs> I would really like to thank the volunteers. Uh, we had a lot of support from all around the world, actually. Um, we had the pleasure to host some people from Brazil. Is Fabiano here? Nope. Okay. But um, 
I mean, we received support from all over Europe, Brazil, India, China, like it was incredible. And there were as well many volunteers in place. So uh, please stand up and give them a round of applause. Come on. But there is one person that deserves like at least, at least twice as many hands. You might have seen this guy. I call him, I call him triple platinum because I believe the amount of hours that you put in more or less are equivalent to a triple platinum sponsorship which by the way came for 5,000 euros so you can imagine how much effort Marco put in this so thank you very much. But talking of sponsors this wouldn't have been possible without the incredible generosity of all of them. I'm extremely happy to see that we received a lot of local supports like Bonsai Meme, Bimeme from Rome as well as all the gold sponsors were local and also a few silver sponsors like Skill, uh, Skill Lab, Video and uh, Digicin as well as all the other sponsors internationally um, you know coming here and helping us making this event so please thanks thank all the sponsors because they were being extremely generous. They actually exceeded our expectations and um, also the individual sponsors were a lot. So um, again, I would like to thank each and every one of them for their support. It's been quite incredible. And I also would like to thank last year's Drupal Developer Days organization for helping kicking off this event as they supported us with 2,500 euros to getting things started. So thanks a lot, guys. <clears throat> Talking about money, I just put together some numbers. They're very raw, so take them with a grain of salt. We expected optimistically 50,000 euros, like our best expectation was around that number. We exceeded that and um, I find it really hard to believe but it's been incredible. And um, yeah, I just put together this little pie chart to tell you a little bit how we distributed money. We literally ate about a third of the budget. <laughs> so. <laughs> And um, well, I hope you like the catering. We did try to do our best and to cover all the, you know, all the needs everyone that could have. So, and we also spent some a good a good amount of money to make sure you had your good amount of fun. So you see that social events took almost 60 percent, 16 percent of the budget. Sorry, 60 percent. It would have been a lot of fun, but uh, you still need to come here every now and then, right? And um, speaking of food, we have consumed about 800 liters of water, ate 100 kilograms of pizza, drank 1,200 coffees. That sounds a little bit low, maybe, I don't know. People were not having enough beers. And at the social event, I think about 500 beers uh, like went out. So, What's up next? There will be other Drupal events coming up this year, so I would like to invite uh, Sophie, Miro and Martin here to tell you a little bit about the next events. Hi, um, I'm Sophie, I am from Hungary and I would like you to join us at Drupalaton this summer. Um, and this is a warm welcome to every one of you. Uh, Drupalaton is an international Drupal event of Hungary. 
Uh, I don't know how many of you heard about Tripolaton, uh, but no, Tripol Balaton, the lake. Uh, it's the largest freshwater lake in Central Europe. It's, uh, and the event is at the lake itself. It's going to be at Balaton Amadi, uh, one hour away from Budapest. It's going to happen between the 11th and 14th of August. And we already sold 70 something tickets and we would like to have all of you there. I know that there are many of you here who are already who already know that you are coming, which is really great. So if you would like to join us, it would be great. We don't have sessions, we like not the regular sessions. We have workshops and we have trainings throughout the four days and of course sprints. So if you would like to have a holiday and a Drupal camp together, this is your place to be. So see you in August. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Miro, I'm from Slovakia. I would like to invite all of you to Prague this autumn in uh, November 24th to 27th. Uh, we are organizing their Iron Camp. Iron Camp is international event uh, which is organized by communities in uh, Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, and this will be the first time we are meeting in Prague, so you are very welcomed. When I start talking, I will. Okay, hello everybody. I came here to announce the Drupal Camp Munich to you. It will be a special camp. So, as you can see up there, it will be December 3rd and 4th. Then we will have code sprints from November 30 until December 2nd. And we will do something new and we will try something special at this camp. So, last time we did a camp in Munich we came up with the idea we could do Drupal Developer Days. And obviously this idea has not been too bad because there are still Drupal Developer Days around every year. So that idea was taken up. And now we think it's time to invent something new again, which will be a Drupal camp that will be organized together with the Symphony user group. So the motto of this camp will be learning from each other. Can I just type on it? Yeah. Just. So it will be a common effort of the Symphony user group of Munich. It will happen in this building. This is Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich, um, actually the most prestigious university of Germany and it's going to be in their main building. And they are also a cooperation partner of us. So the university will also have a few speakers there. Thank you, thank you. Since the Iron Camp will be only one week before our camp, we will also cooperate with them. So we will have special ticketing available for those of you who want to visit both camps. And we will also organize the traveling from Prague to Munich and then probably with a bus so that Participants can also do some sightseeing on the way and there will also be time to taste the local beer and the Glühwein that's pretty popular in winter. And one more thing, if you happen to represent an organization that might be interested to get better known in Central Europe and Germany, just talk to me, I will be around until tomorrow. So we do have still a few 
slots open for sponsors. Okay, thank you for your attention and see you there. Well, people attending both camps will have a great time with beers, I guess, both in Prague and in Munich. So. So I hear that there's a. I'll just repeat it for the recording. <laughs> there will be a camp in Ghent in September, correct? Nine and ten. Cool. Some people over Twitter. Oh, do you want a T-shirt, by the way? <laughs> well, I have to throw them, so I need excuses. Where are you? Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see about that. <laughs> All right. So um, people over Twitter started asking when we'll be publishing slides and videos. We don't have exact dates yet. Uh, we'll be sending out a newsletter as soon as everything is uh, on our Flickr and YouTube and whatever else, uh, 1,000 social media anyway. We'll uh, put everything online and tweet about it and send all the participants an email to you know let them know. Uh, we do also have certificates of participation. If some people ask for it, so you can come and pick them up here, or we'll send out emails in a few days, I think. So um, yeah, if you prefer a piece of paper, here it is. Otherwise, you receive an email soon. It is not exactly over yet. Tonight there will be the night of the museum. It'll be in the cathedral square, and um, it's starting at seven. So I better hurry up because I have to go and buy tickets. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been again something we did not expect to be so successful. We started with 75 tickets, and they run out in less than two days. So we opened another 50, and uh, they run out again. But we're not opening any other tickets because. That's enough, come on. So the museum will be more or less here. And then, that's just a suggestion, maybe we can walk uh, towards this park, the Sempione Park, to the white bar, Bar Bianco, up there, and towards the Arco della Pace up there. And um, yeah, there will be several groups because each group will be made, will, will hold up to 25 people. So yeah, maybe it's good to be in that area. So if we want to drink one last beer with some fellow Drupalistas, that could be the, a good way to do it. Last but not least, tomorrow we'll have the last day of sprints. There will be coffee and pizza. So. It's just a good, <laughs> a good excuse to come here anyway. <laughs> but um, that's it. And I would really like to thank you once more for having been here. We really appreciate that. And we hope to see you at the next Drupal Dev Days. Ciao. Just wanna. I just want to say thank you. Does it work? May I throw it? Sure. Yep. No, I have to Does throw it, it to you. Okay, we can throw it to me. Oh, gosh. I just want to say thank you to Claudia and Marco.